Welcome to Yukanic. Today here in Yukanic we have a 2014 Chevy Cruze. More importantly, it is a 1.4 liter Ecotec engine. And we have some symptoms of a bad oil pump in here uh, in this unit. And so I'm going to go over some of the symptoms and we will start it and you'll hear how rough it runs. I mean it does run, but there is no oil pressure and or um, the oil pump clearly seems to be bad. So the oil pump is built into the timing case over here, down at the bottom. It's driven off of the um, crankshaft pulley um, on the internals, and it, that's what drives that, the oil pump itself. And so the oil pump pumps through the system, comes out, and here is your oil filter over here. And now we have um, our oil pressure sensor right here. So if you went ahead and checked that or, or changed it out, and you still have no oil pressure, another thing we look at is down here inside the oil cap uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and remove that cap but first before we do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to start the vehicle so that you can hear how this sounds and um, whatnot which won't be very good So you hear that sound, there's a pulsing, but also just you can definitely hear that the valve train up here is not getting the oil that it needs. Also, I mean, on the dash, it does tell you low oil pressure, shut the engine down. Um, so you do have an indicator there. Now it's showing low oil pressure because we don't seem to have any oil pressure in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that cap off and we're going to look at that oil filter there and then uh, we'll be right back. All right. so. We've um, removed that cap, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull this cover out. And we can see we don't really have a whole lot of fresh oil there, and we did just run this. Um, and we also don't have oil in our oil filter, so it's dry. The oil is not coming in there. Now, there are a couple things you want to look at when you don't have oil pressure. There's these little tabs on the top here. They sometimes break off between the oil changes, and they can get stuck down in there. There's a little check valve in there. I'm gonna get you a visual on that. And then if, a lot of times if they get stuck there and blocking that check valve, what that means is the oil is just gonna be stuck here, not really flowing through the vehicle like it should. But we also have a very uh, big symptom is the fact that there is no oil in this oil filter, um, the housing and the filter itself, that the oil itself from the oil pump is not even making it to our filter. So you see right down there at the bottom. So right there, we see this is where the oil filter goes around. But right down the bottom there is a little check valve. You would see a bunch of debris there um, that you may need to clean out. But also, um, you may need to replace that little check valve if, if you feel it's necessary. Um, being the fact we don't even have oil in here, we definitely know that the check valve should be working. Um, but it's not the oil is not even making it in here because the oil is going to come up through this Right here and then presses through the oil filter and then goes back into the engine and so that's um, What we have there and that's what builds our oil pressure in the canister here So those are some things to look at if you happen to have um, your oil pressure uh, light indicator telling you that um, that there's no oil pressure either be looking at the sensor itself. Maybe your sensor is bad um, We're going to definitely check that we have oil in our oil filter or in the filter housing um, And those are the simple things that we can check and you heard the way that this engine sounds and runs Which is amazing it actually still runs um, with the uh, no oil pressure um, I did check the uh, compression on this and all the compression is actually very good um, so we're going to go ahead and tear this down and replace the oil pump and see if we can uh, get this thing to sound better, run better for the remainder of its lifetime. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.